Movie fans in Los Angeles descended on cinemas on Thursday for early screenings of Barbie and Oppenheimer, a rare movie doubleheader being billed as Barbie and Heimer. At the TCL Chinese Theater on Hollywood Boulevard, movie fans were getting into the Barbie and Heimer spirit, with many saying they would watch both blockbusters on the same day. Yeah, so I'm going to work later on tonight at like 9 o'clock at night and I got the very first showing for Barbie today at 3 o'clock at the, the Chinese Man Theater here in Hollywood. Uh, so assuming it's about two hours long, I should be out of here maybe around 5.15, 5.30ish and then 6 o'clock I'm going to try to rush over to go do Oppenheimer which is three hours long so I'm going to be exhausted but it's a really hot day here in LA so there's no better place to be than a nice air conditioner room watching movies all day. I think. Uh uh, we have more pink <laughs> clothes at home than uh, the dark gray, uh, so it's one of the reasons, <laughs> of course. And uh, the other, well, Oppenheimer is a uh, very tough film to, <laughs> to watch. So first of all, we are going to, I don't know, to energize with Barbie, and then we'll, I think we'll see the Oppen Oppenheimer. That's it. Good. Thank you. Um, I'm getting I love it. It's like the only toy I used to play when I was a girl. I used to dress them and do their hair and like Barbie was my thing. So obviously now I have a daughter. I want to see it with her and yeah, I love Barbie. I love to dress up for movies, especially ones that I'm really excited to see, like Barbie. Um, and this one in particular, I'm really excited the direction that it's going as far as like the commentary it wants to make and just the production behind it. Like Margot Robbie is just phenomenal. I'm so excited because I loved Barbie when I was little and I was like, I didn't know they were going to make a real life film about it. So I, was, I got so excited. I told my mom, I was like, mom, can you please get tickets? And she said, like, got the tickets. I was like so excited. Barbie, icon, timeless icon. Why else would we not see her? Uh, Greta Gorig is known for like, you know, just explaining what being human is about, you know, femininity is about. And that's what Barbie stands for. Barbie is everything, it says in the movie. I am, I actually wanted to watch today, but they sold out. <laughs> they sold out for the IMAX, so I'm watching it over the weekend. I won't be doing Barbenheimer today, but. Of course, absolutely. I bought my tickets months ago. As soon as they were available. Yeah, I'm seeing Barbie at 9:45 right after. Yeah, Barbenheimer. I kind of wanted to rep Barbie just because I thought it was funny that I'm not watching it right now. But I'm gonna go see it later too, and I'm gonna wear something like Oppenheimer themed for Barbie instead. Um, I just wanted to be stupid like that. Yeah, so I got free tickets today. So uh, if that happens with Barbie, I'll go see it. If not, probably not. Yeah. <laughs> For us, it was an, int uh, an easy choice because we were looking forward to this 70 millimeter IMAX screening of Oppenheimer. So we're interested in seeing, you know, those special effects in a super large screen. And we're from Iowa, so we don't have easy access to um, an IMAX screening like this. So it was really cool, and we had the opportunity to go to this one. Well, we're big Christopher Nolan fans. Uh, all of his movies have just been really good. So excited for this one too. So yeah. Barbie, which stars Margot Ruby and Ryan Gosling, officially debut on Friday and is expected to rank in more than $100 million in U.S. theaters in its first weekend. Oppenheimer from acclaimed director Christopher Nolan stars Cleon Murphy as physicist J. Robert Oppenheimer and is about the creation of the atomic bomb during World War II. Oppenheimer also opened on Friday and is expected to bring in $50 million.